As the chill of 2025 settles over the UK, a familiar question drifts through the frosty air. Could the mighty River Thames, which winds through the heart of London, ever freeze solid again? The city's residents, bundled in scarves and coats, glance at the river's cold, dark waters and wonder if history could repeat itself in their lifetimes. Londoners wonder, could the Thames freeze again? It seems almost unimaginable in our modern era, with the city's constant bustle and the river's ceaseless flow. Yet the question lingers, fueled by memories and stories passed down through generations. History tells of a time when the river turned to ice, transforming the city into a winter wonderland. During the so-called Little Ice Age, the Thames froze over more than 20 times between the 17th and early 19th centuries. Londoners held frost fairs on the ice, with markets, games, and even elephants crossing the frozen river. The city's spirit shone brightest against the icy backdrop as people celebrated the extraordinary event. The last great freeze was in 1814, over two centuries ago. Since then, London's rapid growth, the construction of new bridges, and the embankment of the river have changed its flow. The city's urban heat, generated by millions of people, cars, and buildings, now radiates into the night, making a frozen Thames seem like a distant memory. But with today's unpredictable weather patterns and the increasing volatility of our climate, some wonder, could a perfect storm of conditions, an unusually cold winter, still air, and minimal river flow, bring back the ice? The idea is both thrilling and unsettling, a reminder that nature can still surprise us. Freezing the Thames would require weeks of relentless sub-zero temperatures, with the river's current slowed to a crawl. The odds are slim, but not impossible. Scientists say that a combination of rare meteorological events, prolonged cold snaps, high-pressure systems, and minimal wind could, in theory, set the stage for ice to form once more. While such a freeze is unlikely in our era of milder winters and urban warmth, the question itself highlights both the power of nature and our own vulnerability. It reminds us that, despite our technological advances we are still at the mercy of the elements. As winter approaches, we explore the fascinating history, the evolving science, and the latest forecasts surrounding the possibility of a frozen Thames. Meteorologists, historians, and climate experts all weigh in piecing together clues from the past and present to answer this enduring question. Could whispers of ice become reality in our lifetime, or will the Thames remain forever free-flowing, its icy past just a memory? Only time and the weather will tell. The frozen Thames is best remembered through its legendary frost fairs, remarkable events that transformed the heart of London into a winter wonderland. When the river froze solid, it became more than just a natural marvel. It was the stage for some of the most extraordinary celebrations in the city's history. These spontaneous festivals on the ice were born out of necessity and creativity. With the river impassable to boats, Londoners seized the opportunity to turn adversity into joy gathering in droves to make the most of the frozen expanse. The very first recorded frost fair took place in 1608. That winter, the Thames froze so thoroughly that Londoners dared to venture onto the ice, constructing a temporary city right atop the river. It was a surreal sight. Market stalls, makeshift shops, and entertainers all set up on the thick, glittering ice, as if the city itself had shifted onto the river. Tents, shops, and entertainment thrived on the ice, a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. Vendors sold everything from hot drinks and roasted meats to souvenirs commemorating the occasion. Street performers, musicians, and even printers set up shop, producing frost fair pamphlets as keepsakes for visitors. The most famous of these fairs occurred in the winter of 1683-84, when the ice was so thick that entire fairs, complete with games, food, and music, bustled with activity. Thousands flocked to the river, eager to experience the novelty and excitement of a festival held on frozen water. These frost fairs were unique in that they erased social divides, uniting people from all walks of life in shared celebration. Nobles mingled with commoners, merchants with laborers, all brought together by the rare spectacle of the frozen Thames. For a brief moment, the river became a place where the usual rules of society were suspended replaced by laughter, music, and camaraderie. The final frost fair held in 1814 was perhaps the most memorable of all. In a display that captured the imagination of the city, an elephant was led across the ice, drawing crowds 
and cementing the event in London's folklore. It was a fittingly grand finale to an era of extraordinary winters. These events remind us not only of a colder climate, but also of the severity and unpredictability of past winters. The Frost Fairs are a window into a time when the weather could dramatically reshape daily life, forcing people to adapt in creative and communal ways. Today, scientists study these historic frosts to better understand the climate of the past. By examining old records, engravings, and even the remnants of Frost Fair souvenirs, researchers can piece together how cold those winters truly were and how rare such deep freezes have become in modern times. The Frost Fairs of London offer a valuable benchmark for future predictions of extreme cold. They serve as a reminder of how dramatically our climate can change and how communities can come together in the face of adversity to create moments of joy and wonder even in the harshest of winters. The end of the famous Thames Frost Fairs isn't just a story about the world getting warmer, it's a tale of a city in transformation, where history, engineering, and climate all play a part. For centuries, Londoners celebrated winters so cold that the mighty Thames would freeze solid, turning the river into a bustling winter carnival. But today, those icy scenes are just memories, and the reasons go far beyond rising temperatures. The real story is about a city that has changed dramatically over time. London has grown into a sprawling metropolis, with millions of people, endless traffic, and a landscape dominated by buildings and roads. All this concrete, glass, and steel acts like a giant blanket, trapping heat and making the city much warmer than the countryside around it. This phenomenon, known as the urban heat island effect, means that even when the air is cold, the city itself holds on to warmth making it much harder for the river to freeze. But there's more. The old London Bridge, with its many arches and narrow gaps, used to slow the river's flow, allowing ice to form more easily. When it was replaced in the 19th century, the new bridge let the water rush through much faster, making it difficult for ice to take hold. Modern embankments have straightened and deepened the river, and tidal surges now sweep through with greater force, further preventing the calm, shallow conditions that once allowed the Thames to freeze. In the past, factories and homes dumped warm effluent into the river, raising its temperature. Today, strict environmental regulations have cleaned up the Thames, making the water colder and clearer. But ironically, this also means it's less likely to freeze. For the Thames to freeze now, it would take a rare combination of factors. Weeks of bitterly cold weather, unusually weak tides, and almost no wind to disturb the surface. Only a perfect storm of extreme cold, still air, and gentle tides could bring back the frozen river scenes of the past. Scientists estimate that it would require several weeks of temperatures far below freezing, along with just the right river conditions, for the Thames to freeze over again a scenario that's increasingly unlikely in our modern world. So while the idea of skating on the Thames is a romantic one, the reality is that the city's evolution, engineering, and climate have made it almost impossible. The frozen Thames is now a chapter in London's history, unlikely to return anytime soon. Looking to winter 2025-26, forecasts offer possibilities, not certainties. While trends show milder winters, severe cold snaps remain a risk. A disrupted polar vortex could send Arctic air south, altering UK weather. This setup brought the 2018 beast from the east, with snow and sub-zero temperatures. Meteorologists watch for signs of such patterns developing. Heavy snowfall from clashing air masses could overwhelm infrastructure. The focus is on potential high-impact snow events, not just temperature. Wind and snow could create dangerous conditions, demanding respect and caution. Whiteouts are disorienting dangerous winter phenomena. Falling and blowing snow reduce visibility to zero, blending sky and ground. Landmarks vanish, creating a hazardous environment. Strong winds whip up snow, creating ground blizzards. Drivers face terrifying conditions, risking multi-car pileups. Pedestrians can get lost with sounds muffled by snow and wind. The 2018 beast from the east left drivers stranded in whiteouts. Understanding whiteouts is crucial for winter preparedness. When snow and ice loom, preparation is key. Stay informed with Met Office warnings and reliable sources. For travel, ensure your vehicle is winter ready and pack an emergency kit. At home, focus on warmth and safety, checking on vulnerable people. Insulate pipes to prevent freezing and stock essential supplies. 
be cautious walking outside, wear footwear with good grip. Local councils grit major routes, but many areas remain untreated. Practical steps can turn a crisis into a manageable inconvenience. Prepare thoughtfully and act sensibly when extreme conditions arrive. Simple plans and supplies make a difference between adventure and crisis. Discussing extreme cold in a warming world seems contradictory. While winters are generally milder, climate change complicates the picture. A warming Arctic may disrupt the polar vortex, leading to cold snaps. Melting sea ice weakens the temperature gradient, destabilizing weather patterns. This could mean more extreme weather hotter summers, intense winter cold. The character of winters may shift from persistently cold to volatile. While long freezes are unlikely, sharp high-impact events remain possible. Preparing for winter extremes is crucial in a changing climate. If the Thames froze in 2025, wonder would quickly turn to disruption. River traffic would halt, impacting the economy and transport networks. A deep freeze would strain the power grid and risk outages. Water mains could freeze and burst, causing flooding. Emergency services would face a surge in incidents. Transport systems would struggle, with buses and trains affected. Supermarkets could run out of fresh food due to delivery issues. Daily life would focus on basic needs, warmth, food, and community care. A frozen London would highlight the need for robust contingency plans. Will the Thames freeze this winter? It's extremely unlikely. Warmer cities and climates make a new frost fair a fantasy. However, dismissing extreme winter weather would be a mistake. The real question is our preparedness for severe cold and snow. Winter 2025-26 holds potential surprises like a polar vortex disruption. These events test resilience and infrastructure reminding us of nature's power. Practical advice remains key. Prepare homes, vehicles, and communities. The stories of frost fairs remind us of past extremes and future risks. While skating on the Thames is unlikely, winter's threat never disappears.